With Nvidia being the only one in talks when it comes to mainstream graphics cards, there aren't enough options in the mid-range category of the latest gen GPUs. Even though it's pretty obvious that AMD might also be preparing their mid-range and budget RX 7000 GPUs, there wasn't much official info about those cards until now when AMD itself confirmed that they are indeed working to launch their mainstream GPUs pretty soon. The story however is not limited to the launch date of these GPUs only, but also extends to how many GPUs we may see in the coming months. Let's take a look at what AMD is up to for its mainstream GPUs, but before that make sure to subscribe to never miss such interesting updates in the future. During the first quarter earnings call, AMD's president Dr. Lisa Su confirmed that the company is about to launch new GPUs very soon. In fact, the GPU launch dates are supposedly colliding with Nvidia's RTX 4060 GPU's launch. Dr. Lisa said, We saw strong sales of our high-end Radeon 7900 XTX GPUs in the first quarter, and we are on track to expand our RDNA 3 GPU portfolio with the launch of the new mainstream Radeon 7000 series GPUs this quarter. So it's clear that we are going to see more RX 7000 GPUs in this month as well as the next, which perfectly coincides with what Moore's Law is dead leaked about the launch of RX 7600 XT GPU. According to him, the 7600 GPU is supposedly launching on the 25th of this month and that means we will have a competitor from AMD's side for the RTX 4060. However, this is not the only GPU AMD is currently planning. According to a leak by Reddit user, the latest pull request for ROC M5.6 showed the Radeon RX 7950 XTX being listed as one of the planned GPUs. Unfortunately, the page has been taken down, but the user has noted down the list of all the planned GPUs. The list contains the already known GPUs, but has a total of 6 more cards including the flagship RX 7950 XTX, 7950 XT and the mainstream GPUs like 7700 XT, 7600 XT and even a budget 7500 XT. It is rumored that not only AMD is planning to launch the XT cards, but there are potential non-XT GPUs as well. This means we are going to have a good GPU battle between AMD and Nvidia and the winner will be the one who is going to price their GPUs lower than the opponent while providing faster performance. And talking about performance, Nvidia just boasted about its upper hand over AMD and Intel in streaming quality. In a recent blog post, it compared the streaming quality with AV1 hardware encoding on the RTX 40 GPUs to AMD and Intel's latest graphics cards. As a brand new release of OBS Studio software is now supporting the AV1 video codec encoding, it is now giving the streamers the opportunity to stream their gameplays with higher video quality compared to H.264. Nvidia says that with the latest AV1 codec support, the users will get up to 40% more efficient encoding compared to H.264 and now the RTX 40 users can stream higher quality images at the same same bitrate compared to AMD and Intel GPUs or at a similar picture quality at a lower bitrate. The official video from the company shows the difference between the visual quality with AV1 encoding on different GPUs which shows that Nvidia is far ahead when it comes to defining high resolution textures and removal of blocky artifacts. As per the company, the Nvidia NVENC encoder is superior to AMD and Intel's encoder and Nvidia GPU owners will have an upper hand when streaming games. Now take this comparison with a grain of salt because the comparison is not from an independent source and it also looks too exaggerated to me. It is quite possible that Nvidia might be ahead of both AMD and Intel's AV1 encoders but there are a lot of factors that will decide which is the best. Currently AMD's AV1 encoding can process 30% faster and also consumes less power. So it all depends on whether Nvidia's encoder was able to process higher visual quality at the same speed or at least at the same power. The matter will be decided when the independent tests are out and we will see if Nvidia is really that ahead of its competitors. And lastly, Microsoft is reportedly working on its own CPUs to compete with Apple M processors. The report comes from Windows Latest that says that Microsoft is working on new ARM chips which are being worked on by Microsoft Silicon team. The author says that he spotted some job listings that hint towards the development of new ARM CPUs. One of them is the position for SOC architect that will be responsible for building complex, state-of-the-art SOCs and the other one is this job opening for a senior product engineer. The candidate working in this position will have the responsibility to be working for the Microsoft Silicon team and will have to work on several areas that comprise internally developed silicon components. Moreover, these new ARM chips are supposedly planned to optimize for Windows 12, an operating system that is still not officially announced by Microsoft. But considering that there were reports about Meteor Lake CPUs being given support for Windows 12, it is highly likely that Microsoft's own CPUs are going to leverage the AI capabilities of Windows 12. Keep in mind that we are still several years from now before we can see the official launch of Windows 12 and till then we might see more CPUs to join the list that are officially going to be supported for Windows 12. 
Let me know your thoughts about these recent stories in the comments below. Hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe if you want to see more regular hardware stories like this. Make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss any latest uploads to the channel and I will see you in the next one.